wants our scrappy peeps. peeps. It's Adele and Aaron from Inky Quill, and we're here with a little haul video for you today. There's yeah. more than just this, though. <laughs> so my local scrapbook store is called Pages to Scrap at Tugra, and they had 70 freaking percent off. So, of course, I treated myself to some things. <laughs> so, first of all, I got some mixed media goodies. I got some, I already have these two colours in the dilutions, it's After Midnight and Camp So Teal, but I was running very low, and then I realised I haven't got grey. I'm really so keen to grey. actually use this one. Oh, it's it looks so pretty. amazing. It's really beautiful. Very nice. So I got those. Yeah. And then... What's this one? This one, so the difference, this is Dina Wakely. And that actual is, person, or is no, that just a, it's okay. the person who right. makes the I line. just wanted to check. <laughs> and these are by um, Diane Reevely. Now, um, the difference between them is these are quite thin and very fluidy. Oh, okay, right. And these are very thick. Yeah. So yeah. if you, I prefer these Hence for painting the heavy body. Mm. Yes. I prefer to use these for painting backgrounds. Um, this is really nice through stencils or if you want a bit more opaqueness. Oh, These okay. aren't as opaquey. Fair enough. Yeah. Next up, some Farmline bottles. Yes, because although we did as much surgery as we could on the other one, uh, <laughs> look at it. It did not live so much. No, it doesn't. I, I completely bent the, <laughs> um, the bit. The bit that, that goes in the dudes. In yeah. To keep it not cloggy. <laughs> and so I'm going to try these ones. These ones are thicker. So the blue. Oh, so the the nub is a little yes. bit. Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it these, this a, one, not that you can see if it, I can but... read it, I think it's five mil meter, five millimeter. And these ones are eight millimeter. So, yeah. or 0 0.8 millimeter. 0.8. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so these ones are thicker. So I'm going to put. I get a lot of questions about what glue I use. So yes, I use this glue in these. Inside these. Yeah. It's funny. I thought they easier. were actually white because no. it's always got white glue in it. Yeah. No, it's yeah. just white, white, white so glue. But you can put anything in there. Cool. I also I bought two because I want to put paint in one of them as well. Ah, that could mm, be cool. Some thick paint, maybe the white. Ooh, Ooh. heavy body. Ooh. <laughs> Next up. I got a variety of paint pens. So we have, they're all Posca pens, and I got these. Can I ask you about these ones? Yeah. Right. So the nib on the end, mm -hmm. is it like a felt tip or is it like a. Uh, have you not used one of mine before? No, I've never used a Posca pen. Ah. Hmm. Well. Of course, what I was thinking is I've been doing a lot of watercoloring lately, and I always go to do like a black inky outline around the edge yeah and the pens that i've been using have i see not what been you did there the an inky outline <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know aaron has his own youtube channel too called inky beard shout out the link is always <laughs> down below <laughs> well they have a oh. yeah it's like a felt tip and you've got to oh right you've got to kind of it tells you how to make it work yeah that's you've cool. got to pump it up and down to make it work yeah right, make cool. it work make it work so these are the 0.7, 0.7 millimeter the yeah nice. and then these ones are so these have paint in them 0.7 millimeter but they're not what do you mean they're not uh this is a pin type tip and this is a bullet shape tip Mm. Same thickness. So there you go. Lucky different... I asked about the nib. Lucky. Same thickness, different nibs. So that'll be interesting. Mm. But yeah, they were 70% off. So thought I'd stock up. Next up, I bought this. I bought a new brayer because I have a brayer. Um, where is my brayer? I have another brayer. Hang on. Aaron, entertain them for a moment. Oh dear. Thought ends. Entertainment, entertainment, <laughs> bumping the camera, entertainment. Oh, I'm stuck. This is the braid <laughs> that I have. And I think it's the Ranger. It's got bunny hair on it. It's well used. Well used. And <laughs> covered in bunny so hair. much bunny hair on there. Um, but it really drives me crazy because it clacks around it's the ranger one i think clinks around and the paint gets stuck 
and it just it drives me this one batty. looks like it still has a little bit of space but it's not going to clank around that yeah much. and i just didn't really like it so plus this one's a lot wider yeah so this was 21 dollars with 70 percent off so for about five bucks i thought i'd give it a go because i have an upcoming class using this <gasps> you'll have to stay tuned for that <laughs> next up we have all the things all the things i got some flowers so there's a lot more in there but i got some little pink and blue flowers nice and some paper blooms some other flowers from Kaiser Craft and these ones which I thought they'd be good for baby Toomey's pages because they're blue but they're flowers so they're I can like atlas and stuff yeah we love atlasy things and I thought nice. that would they would work well with those got some flowers and then some Christmas cards yes so a little uh, maybe take the other side off let's snippy this open Snip, snip. Snippy, snippy. Do you want to flick through that? I'll sure. open the other one. So they're, these are by Prima. And I haven't so scrapped... They're all lovely little cards. I haven't scrapped um, Christmas yet. So I thought I'd give these a go. And they're really, they're nice oh, vintage that's cool. And you get three of every card. By you, the do, you do, you do. That's then, pretty awesome. And they're, I know this sounds silly, but they're bright vintage -y rather than... Yeah, rather like than kind of like brownie. Yeah, they are a bit brown, but they're they're also not. They're not like hella red and hella green. Too. Yes, it's like a nice pastel. Yes, muted tone. Yes, it's like a minty green. So these are the Oso oh, what collection? <clears throat> Sweet peppermint, right there, Adele. Sweet peppermint. <laughs> so I got both of those for the steel yep and then a stamp a little wooden stamp now this is a very different type of stamp to the ones that you usually use it is i don't usually like wooden stamps no you're a big fan of the like acrylic mm. silicon ones right? Mm, the clear yeah. ones they're good because they're easier to store mm -hmm. I, I just find wooden stamps a bit chunky but this one's by stampers anonymous Ah. And I just thought this would be nice for art journaling, just to sometimes you just, just have want like some a row numbers. Of numbers. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah. And then this one. They're quills. They're feathers, nice. but they look like quills. I've had my eye on this for ages, but I was not paying forty-eight dollars <laughs> for a die. Let's say what? <laughs> so I've had my eye on it for ages, but I finally got it because it was on 70 sale. Seventy percent off is. Pretty cray town. You did do well not to spend like all the money. I did do well, didn't seeing I? Seeing as it was seventy percent off. Yeah, and the prices the prices at pages to scrap are quite steep. So I think I I, I did well to not buy out everything in here. <laughs> Got some page protectory things. So a lot of people ask about my flip pockets that I sometimes use in Project Life. So these are just little three by four pockets that you can stick over the top of your project life page protectors to add a little extra piece in which are handy especially for those weeks where you just have too many photos but you don't want to go for a bigger page protector or another page they're very handy and then i picked up these these are just some simple stories stip <laughs> simple stories snap pocket pages and these ones are <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These ones are two three by four the horizontal ones. And then this one has a few different, so I thought they'd be handy for Project Life. And then a small envelopes yes. storage page. So these ones I'll just quickly show you. That's cool how it's got a little bit at the front. Yes, so, so you, you can, can put, put a like a picture to yes. show what's in there. Yeah. So I got, these are the smaller size, these are 6 by 6 inch, and I thought they'd be handy for when baby Toomey arrives, there'll be lots of little bits and pieces yeah, and tags and tags cards and, and, cards and, and all, that all those things. Yeah. So you get a pack of five, and then I also got a grande 6 version. by 12 pack of those little pockets as well. 
And then I didn't really need these, but I grabbed them just some more. Six by 12, they're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah. Yep. So, <laughs> so plenty of those. Six by 12 page protectors in design H, which are handy. And then, and then Arwen got some things. Me. I bought some things for Arwen just for him. So I knew the trip was on, but I honestly didn't think I would get anything out of it, which was a pleasant surprise when I came home. <laughs> so here's these amazing stamps. Uh, anyone who's seen my videos or any of my Instagram sketchings know that I love like the super sketchy style of art. So these stamps are freaking perfect. And it's an inky quill! <laughs> <laughs> and I really like that kind of just the general, you know, mathy type. Scroll. Cool looking yeah. scroll. Yep. I wish all my notebooks were filled with stuff. So these like are that. meant to be $37. Dang. They're by Tim Holtz. Those ones. Do they have a collection thing? They're called Stamp. The Chemist. More stampers than ours. Yes. Moist. Yeah. And then, speaking of awesome, like, diagrammy, calculated things, this paper is just amazing. This is the sort of paper that I love. Yeah, so, absolutely loves it. I think this is a bit older, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Heidi swap still. But, hmm. Looks older, though. And then on the back, it's just generic just pattern. he'll be using it for that side yes, i'll be cutting that up and putting it in my pages and then this, and then one. this amazing gigantor stamp it's the biggest stamp <laughs> i've ever seen in my life it is an extra extra large stamp um and it's just an amazing gigantic machine work thing so um, I thought this would be good for Aaron because he could just use yeah, bits just of do it, little just parts, parts and parts. stuff. Yeah, 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 that'll be cool. And just to have it kind of like, like with the other stamp, to have it as just kind of general layering over the top sort of thing. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Nice. So that was amazing. Thank Yay! You, that's all right. So that's so, yeah. my little haul. All of the haul. Got quite a few things, and there's people with fireworks again. Well, it's Australia those? Day here, so. Ah, oh, that's why they're fireworking. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so, happy Australia Day if you're Australian, and if you're not, happy Australia Day to you too. Uh, these are our goodies, and we're going to use them in some upcoming videos. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see us do with all of these goodies, and we'll catch you all next time. And. Let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see Aaron appear in some more videos because <laughs> I really like him in my videos. Nah. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to have a bit of extra encouragement that's <laughs> not biased <laughs> from his wife. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Bye.